Hi guys, welcome to the channel. What did I just do to my cards? Sorry Libra. I don't know what I just did with that shuffle. Libra, happy new year to you. Things might get be getting a bit muddled up coming up, I hope not for you. Um, happy new year 2023. I hope you've had a smooth, good transition into the new year so far, okay, we are three days in already, can you believe it, okay, can you believe that it is a whole new page in a new book, okay, make it count Libra, I hope that this year brings you happiness, prosperity and your deepest desires in abundance, okay, tenfold, um we are going to be doing predictions it is fitting okay it is the beginning of the year so it's only right that we do this we are going to be taking a look at what spirit wants you to know for the year ahead we're going to be drawing for cards for general anything that spirit wants to tell us um for you libra we're going to be looking at love we're going to be looking at finances work money and anything else okay and in closing messages Libra, I want to take the opportunity to thank you for being here. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, I'm very grateful for the love and the support that you've shown to me and the channel. It is greatly received and greatly appreciated. Okay. Libra, please check out your other placements. Um, not everything will always resonate for you, Libra. My mind just went blank. Um if you find that nothing resonates today, please check back next time. Check your other placements. Use your discernment when you are watching tarot. Flip the roles as you see fit, depending on what comes out. As these are predictions, some of it may not make any sense to you whatsoever. So what I will advise is that you come back in a couple of months and see what has come to pass, if relevant. And it may make more sense in the future. OK, it could be that we are going to be picking up on what is going on now and how it's going to be transitioning into the new year. But other things could come up that you may be expecting. Also, Spirit, please guide and protect me as I channel the messages that Libra needs to know at this time. Tell me about Libra, please. Tell me about Libra. Libra messages for 2024 for the sign of Libra. We're going to take those two. If you're dealing with a Leo, check out Leo's reading. We've got Sword, Make the Change. We've also got Nostalgia, Focus on the Here and Now. Some of you could be definitively choosing to close out some sort of reoccurring thinking or thinking about the past. Some of you could be consciously deciding to move on definitively from the past here in whichever way that may be for you, Libra. Could be that you're letting go of an old story, an old relationship here. Some of you, the number 33 could be significant. The C could be significant as well. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign. As I say, the C raindrops comes out. You could definitely be dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, a Pisces or a Scorpio. Number 39, rain, raindrops, take a chance on them. Oh, these cards are so hard to shuffle. One more. Are we only supposed to have three? Try one more time. Okay, two came out. I'll take those. Bottom of the deck, we've got escapist. Number 32, come home to yourself. Okay. Yeah, some of you could definitely be dealing with a water sign. Um, let's see what these are here. We've got the universe. We're all just stardust. Number 31. And we've got number 12, expectations. Don't seek anyone's approval or anyone else's approval. Okay, number 12 and number 31. Some of you could be adopting a more don't care sort of attitude. Um, yeah, something like that. It's interesting because I'm wearing this shirt today and my mum 
bless her, she got me some um, slogan t-shirts for my birthday and she said to me to wear it for your TV show. She does, she knows that I do tarot, bless her. So she um, bought me these t-shirts and I absolutely love them. And this particular one says, I am 90% sure you don't like me, but I am 100% sure that I don't care. And then there's sis slain on the shirt, yes. If this isn't me, I don't know what is. <laughs> so she got my gift to a T, okay? My my birthday gift. She actually, she actually gave me the present late, but my birthday gift. Anyway, there's an there's an energy of you just you're not you're not down for anyone's opinion in that way. Like you're gonna do what you're gonna do, what you're gonna do, okay? Is what I'm seeing for you, Libra. Some of you could definitely be closing out a relationship or definitively moving on from the past if you have circled back or gone around the block with a person a specific person in your energy libra i see this changing miraculously in the new year for a lot of you you're going to be trying out something new some of you could be into same-sex relationships doesn't have to be so you could be a feminine that likes other feminines you could be a masculine who likes masculines flip it switch it how you how you see fit doesn't have to be though um there's an energy of you trusting the universe on the new path that you're about to embark on whatever this is when you meet this new person that you're going to be getting involved with whether that is a same-sex relationship whether that is a um whatever you resonate with okay um you're really going to be immersing yourself into the experience i feel like you're very much ready to embark on something new for some of you you could have been replaying an old story over and over again or you could have been dealing with somebody who wasn't changing there was something about a repetitive cycle that kept going around in a circle and there's something about you getting off a hamster wheel and going into the here and the now okay i see you making a big change some of you could be changing up your look somehow changing up your hair color changing up the length of your hair doing something to do with your aesthetic here some of you could be going from having really long hair to having like a shortcut a real shortcut here in this card she's got long hair she's got the sword she's making the change she's cutting the hair with the sword and then in the next card you're not seeking anyone else's approval and she's got the shortcut there that could be significant you could be thinking about doing this to your hair whether you're a masculine or a feminine i'm seeing a new look for you i'm seeing you cutting away i'm seeing you purging things okay um and you get into a new connection you're no longer going around in a past story or with a past narrative um where you may have been stuck with an individual here. I see that very clearly. And a lot of you are going to be feeling more balanced in self from doing this as well. Some of you could be reading more, researching more. Some of you could be studying for something specific. But I definitely see you um, in a more grounded energy. You're not really going to be worrying too much this year, okay, about others' approval, okay for some of you if you are getting into a same-sex relationship some of you this could be the year that you're going to be revealing this to your closest people take it as it resonates it could be that you are coming out this year or you are making some sort of um statement okay um you could be coming out about your sexuality or coming out about some sort of truth about you for example if you are into spirituality you could be coming out as being spiritual you could be coming out as this is me whatever that is for you you could just be unleashing a new look but i see you coming out in some way libra let's see give me some general messages for libra please spirit general messages What does Libra need to know? We've got the Magician and the Ace of Coins. Wow. You're manifesting some sort of gift from the universe. The universe is right there. Wow. I want to know more about that. You've manifested this, whatever this is. Some of you, it's a payout. Some of you, it's new money. Some of you, it's a new job, new home. Something to do with your stability. Wow. Okay. But you've manifested this queen of coins yeah 
I see new money. I see you manifesting new money. Some of you could have been writing down your intentions, setting your intentions here. She's got a paintbrush. She's got tools there, resources in her hand. And she's got the, the paintbrush at the top that's serving as a wand in that depiction of the um, magician card in the Good Karma Tarot. If you um, check out that deck, okay, if you're interested in collecting tarot or looking at tarot or having your own card. Queen of Coins, yeah. You're manifesting money stability wow some of you again you could have been doing some sort of journaling setting your intentions i'm hearing the moon the judgment yeah spirit is answering the call you called on spirit spirit is answering the call three of cups we've got the nine of coins and the king of coins wow 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 and wow the three of coins wow there's a lot of coinage there's a lot of coinage going on here for you, Libra. What is going on here? The lovers. I'll be honest with you. I see a connection. I see a very stable person that is interested in you. Somebody's looking at you as some sort of counterpart. With the nine of coins, you're looking good. Okay. Someone's looking at you as very abundant. That fits them like a glove. You've got a king of coins here and a queen of coins. These are counterparts, okay? Some of you could be going from being single, ready to mingle, to partnered up and booed up in a whole power couple dynamic boom. Yes. Ooh, what have you got going on, Libra? What have you got going on? Three of cups you're going to be celebrating this year. There's a new union. Somebody is going to be just as stable as you. Somebody's going to be very much looking to build with you here. For some of you, you're getting into some sort of partnership where you're going to be able to make money together, okay, as a collective, together. Three of Cups, judgment. This is sent from the divine. If you've been manifesting a relationship, a new job, you're in manifestation mode and something is coming through, if not multiple things here. Let me just grab a few clarifiers for this. Wow. This is going to be someone who you may work with. OK, this could be come in the form of a business partnership as well, as well as love. For some of you, you're getting a new job and then you're going to be falling for somebody at that job. or You're going to be meeting somebody who's of your same status in the same sort of positioning as you. Very similar to where you're at in your life and ready for what you're ready for. This is power couple vibes. Something flipped over. Six of coins. Yeah. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. This is reciprocal. This is balanced union. This is you give, I give. It's going to be very, very reciprocal. Somebody wants to gift you things. Somebody wants to be generous with you. Your their, their love language could be gift giving, looking after. You could be dealing with somebody who likes to buy you things, likes to treat you to things. I'm hearing perfume. I'm hearing jewelry. Wow. The hierophant. This is commitment, marriage marriage the world wow for some of you you're going to meet this person online tell me about this ace of coins gift the knight of swords the magician there is a lot of manifestation energy around you not all people are gonna some people will be jealous of this opportunity by the way possibly a gemini or a libra like yourself, Aquarius maybe. Somebody doesn't want you to have this. Who is this person? Justice could be a Libra. Like yourself. Knight of Cups or a water sign. This is somebody who pretends to be your friend or pretends to like you. This is somebody who pretends to like you, but they don't want you to be doing better than them. They see you as somebody who's winning at this time. Six of Wands. And they, they might come and... Oh, the devil. Ugh, yuck. You've got Capricorn energy. This person may try to befriend you. This person may try to come in like, yeah, I know you long time. Yes, it's me and you. Me and you, Libra. We go way back, way back when. This person don't like you. This person don't like you. They don't like that you're going to be getting this. This could be a new job for some of you. The moon, they're jealous. Yes, they are. The five of cups. Yes. 
your win is like a disappointment to this person because it's not going to them. You know, those people that are okay as long as you're at their level or you're not bypassing them. But as soon as you get something that they deem as more than what they have, it creates jealousy. They smile in your face, but really they are shaking in their boots. They don't like this, okay? And it's probably because it's stemming from the Queen of Swords. Yeah, they don't like it. Page of Wands because they feel like they're not getting it. Two of coins. They could be going through some sort of instability here. They need to change their perspective on something. Two of cups. This definitely could be somebody who you had some sort of relationship with, partnership with. You could be friends with this person. But they don't like it. They don't like it. They don't like it, Libra. They don't like it. But you got a nice partnership here, so who cares? <laughs> and you're winning at something that you've manifested okay we're going to be checking out love we're going to be got digging deeper into this new love this new thing i'm hearing you and i got a thing baby can't you see this love was meant to be <coughs> that's um freddie jackson got a little thing you and i we got a thing baby can't you see? Yeah, let's see. Let's see, Libra. Tell me about love for Libra. Tell me what's coming up for love, okay? We've seen a bit of it here. Wow, somebody is really not liking the facts that you're going to be getting into a union coming up here, okay? Somebody, who is this nine of wands? Let's see. Let's take out some more here. Six of Cups. This is someone from your past. It could be a Scorpio. I feel like you know this already. The Three of Pentacles. You could have worked with this person. And there's an energy here of you getting into collaboration with some sort of soulmate here. A union coming together with the Four of Wands. And with the Hermit energy. This is going to be making somebody else kind of grow and go within somebody who may have been immature in the past they don't like the fact that you're getting into this union this person from the past you know who this is with the ace of swords you could have found out a truth about this person in the past the page of pentacles this is somebody who wants a new beginning with you here they're keeping it to themselves though with the high priestess the temperance could be a sagittarius Eight of Wands. You could get communication from this person after them being silent or there not being any communication. This is a person who um, they could have put friends, other people before the connection. This person could have held back from you, been very stubborn. You could have wondered if this person was really into you in the past. Very emotionally immature. Five of Cups. They're regretting something here. They're possibly regretting putting other things first or prioritizing other people. Knight of Pentacles. Four of Swords. They're thinking about how to come in with a new offer. They are coming up as pages though, but they're burdens. They think that this is going to be too hard to get off the ground here. Um, they do want a new beginning, but they're scared that it is done and dusted over. With the Wheel of Fortune, they do want another go around. They see you as the bee's knees with the Queen of Wands, yes. And you're getting a lot of success. You're in the public eye. Listen, they feel like you don't even know them anymore. <laughs> they feel like, yeah, Libra's got a whole new life and that worries them. Okay, they still have love for you, feelings for you, but they didn't treat it well in the past. They did not. They didn't nurture it. They didn't give to it. They don't like the fact that you're coming into this new union. Tell me about this new four of wands that you've got going on here, please. Wow. This person from the past may come in and try to try a little thing here to disturb you from your union yeah five of wands they may want to fight for you to cause an ending they may come and cause a bit of drama here they do view you as somebody who's doing a lot right now who is sitting in your power with the empress yeah they're jealous man five of swords five of wands they're holding on to you they're holding on to some sort of past connection with the four of pentacles this person could have been a player in the past and they want to not be a player anymore with the Ten of Swords. I don't want to be a player no more. I'm jealous of the Libra. 
having more. That's what I'm seeing here watching you. Listen, these people better just not. King of Wands, the Queen of Cups, Page of Swords. They feel like you're giving your love to someone else and they're watching you. This person is all up in your business. Yeah, they feel like you found better. Six of Swords, yeah, they don't like it either. You could be being cold towards them. They could feel like you, your life has miraculously changed and your goods without them being part of your story. Libra, that's what I see. You've got something new here. This is a person who's going to probably attempt to come in and cause a little bit of a ruckus. They could, but it's stemming from jealousy here. The Emperor. Tell me about Libra's money. Four of Cups. Some of you could be dissatisfied with a position that you hold in a workplace. You could want something new for yourself with the full card. Some of you, you've worked at a company for a long time and where you feel like you've done very well or you have, maybe this is what this new opportunity is, you changing career paths for some of you. Temperance, you want something that's going to be more in alignment with you. Some of you feel like your job is a bit too stressful. Um, Eight of coins three of swords yeah there's something you want to end with your work some of you could choose to end a workplace situation leave a job i'm seeing you leave in the workplace this coming year with that death card as well there's something about you not being happy where you're at something about that here and you want something new okay with the ace of wands there's something new to be had this might be the new opportunity that you're going for that we saw before tell me about this emperor energy six of wands the star wow five of wands the hierophant for a lot of you you're going to be competing for some sort of new position where you're going to be more fulfilled and more happy i feel like you are in a very good position a lot of people could be fighting for your position or you're going to be fighting for a position that a lot of people are going for at once this is in terms of a job okay and i feel like this may go in your favor here three of wands the wheel of fortune yeah that's going to go in your favor absolutely go in your favor there's something about you changing your job um, and changing your changing your status. It could just be that you're not happy with the job title or your dis job description or what you're actually doing in your job. And there's something about you changing that up here. I see that. Empress wanted to show again. There's a lot of fruitful energy coming in this year for you. The star card has come out twice. A lot of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. This is a year of you really being seen in the spotlight here. Some of you could be doing something online specific. And I feel like this is just you and your energy and your job, your work. You're going to be experiencing a lot of success and a lot of people are going to be seeing this. And this is why this past person is coming in to say, I don't want to be a player no more, Libra. It's you. It's always been you. I was a fool. It's just you. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. You got something better. The Queen of Cups. The Six of Swords. The Four of Swords is here as well. The Ten of Swords. The Hierophant. The Three of Wands and the Chariot card. This year coming up for you, Libra, is a year of forward movement and elevation with the Hierophant card. A lot of you have got a change in your status, a change in your um, positioning in terms of your work, your grounding, things like that. Um, I see you definitely leaving a lot of things behind. A lot of you are transitioning to something new. There's big changes coming in terms of your status changing or job description changing for you i see a big job change here but you're being very successful with it whatever this is you're actually actively manifesting this whether you know this or not with the three of wands here stuff is changing for you a lot of things are coming towards you here with the queen of cups and the ten of swords you do have somebody who is very much in pain feels defeated over you here libra and it's due to you opening up to love in another direction a lot of you could be getting into some sort of higher level of commitment with somebody who's very like-minded somebody who shares your work ethic somebody who could even work at your workplace okay you could be getting involved with a boss somebody who's in a managerial position 
whatever it is that you're getting involved in in terms of your relationship this coming year it is a step up from what you've been dealing with i feel like you were dealing with somebody who just couldn't step up to the plate wasn't ready for what you were ready for but it's like now this person is going to attempt to come in and return because they're feeling defeated okay because they're feeling defeated and you're on to bigger and better you're definitely opening up to something new with the queen of cups and they know it too and this puts them in a very defeated energy there's a new beginning here there's definitely a new beginning the ace of wands is here twice on the bottom of two decks we've also got the chariot card here there's some sort of forward shift forward movement here six of swords this is you moving on okay this is you moving on i feel like you're going to be dropping a lot of burdens and stresses in terms of your work you could work in a very fast-paced environment where you have a lot of responsibilities on you and i see you wanting to kind of shift that sift through that and maybe not be so much in the forefront or so much in the um firing line i want to say and you may want to take on a role that's more it behind the scenes okay but you're going to be just as successful um i feel like there's going to be a lot of competition for this role but i also feel like you've more than got the skills in order to step up to the plate with the queen of pentacles the empress there's a lot of affluent energy here the hierophant and you're also going to be rubbing shoulders with a different caliber of people through your work as well which is also going to make you mix in certain circles a lot of people are going to be looking up to you okay as someone who is very successful somebody who is in very high regard in terms of where you're at in your with your status okay you've got a status shift coming in stay humble keep your feet on the ground but own it, you know, own it, you deserve the success, you deserve it, because from what I'm looking at here, Libra, you're working hard, okay, and you deserve it, Libra, happy new year, thank you for watching, if you like how I read, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, but until next time, Libra, I will see you soon, you take care, bye.